the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf. Some tough Euros against an Italia who's been in sensational. They are the major players. You'll be playing it over at Naira Bets. Head on over to NairaBets.com. Use the promo code CUP25 for the free $25 play along with the $200 deposit match bonus in Italia. She has been brilliant in the second half of the season for trainer Chad Brown. Her Diana, she just goes to the front. She bounds along going quickly and plays come and catch me. In her last two starts, they have not been able to. And this is the first lady running a mile at Keeneland. And she did the same thing, beating the very, very good Rigo Glorio, I think is a huge player in the Breeders' Cup mile turf a little bit later on this card. She's the best American horse, and we'll see if they can run with her. And I'll talk about the potential for there being a rabbit in a little while. I don't care about post 11. This race starts at the top of the stretch, so she's got the whole stretch to get over. And they can try to run with her, and maybe somebody can run, but she is very fast, and she's going to play come and catch me. She got the mile in eighth in Diana. Can she get the mile in three sixteenths here? If she runs as well as this Barnes Rushing Falls did when she lost this race at Keeneland, she's going to win because Rushing Falls ran great that day despite getting beaten, and they've got her to catch in the front end, but there are some good Euros in here. Nashua, who's the number three in here, above the curve. They finished second in a boggy course in the Prix de l'Opera over a long shot plastic carousel, a horse that above the curve had beaten in the, the St. Allery earlier in the year. A horse that we're not circling but is in here is a horse that I'm very interested in, and that's Tuesday. Tuesday was too close in here. She was without cover, and I think that Tuesday got the wrong ride, and she's very interesting. We'll get back to her in a moment. Talking about Nashua, she's impossible to knock, and it'd be great to see Holly Doyle win a Breeders' Cup race. She's ridden her flawlessly. Maybe the heavier course last time, but she's really never run a bad race. John Gosden doesn't come over that often. I think he has to be respected, as does Above the Curve. And I wonder if Above the Curve might be the one you want more of those two horses. She's run well in her races. She had a chance to catch Nashua and didn't last time. Perhaps she'll run better in here, and I think she's a big player. All of these horses are big players, but as far as Tuesday... I know I don't usually take Aiden O'Brien horses, but this one will be a price, and Ryan Moore is going to ride. And she has run well. When you say, well, she ran well going a mile and a half, she's also run well enough going a mile. I wonder if Aiden O'Brien is thinking less distance is better for her. And I don't really think he'd be shipping her over just as a total afterthought. Wrong trip on the heavy course last time out. And I also wonder if Toy, the number seven, the other Aiden O'Brien runner in here, is going to be used as a rabbit because she is forward. She's not good enough to win this race. Now, whether or not she can run within Italia is another question, but she could make her life a little bit more difficult on the front end and help Tuesday. So Tuesday is actually going to be my top choice in here. Peter Brandt has had an incredible year along with Chad Brown with his turf fillies and Virginia Joy and Mares, I should say, has been one of them. She's one of the few horses to beat Warlike Goddess who's going to be very tough to beat in the Breeders' Cup turf later on this day. And Virginia Joy was able to walk the dog under a brilliant ride from Irad last time out. She has proven, though, when she doesn't have everything her own way to not be good enough here. And I kind of wonder if she might have been a better player in the mile-and-a-half Breeders' Cup turf because I don't think that the Americans are that tough, nor do I think the Europeans are that tough. And I thought she might have been fine trying that mile-and-a-half. I don't really like her here, but I do respect her overall record. There is a lot of talk that I've seen about Mara, who was justifiably DQ'd in the E.P. Taylor. You'll see her down the inside, and you'll see her cut off another Peter Brandt, Chad Brown runner, Lamista, while Rogier was, was angling the outside and getting it done. I wonder, judging by her races, if Rogier was better finally getting Lasix last time out, something she won't be able to ride with, race with here. And she has been, Lamist, uh, Rogier, purchased for $3 million, a big disappointment. Now, Moore is down towards the inside, and I don't disagree that she didn't have the best of trips, and it's a pretty strong rider change getting to Frankie DeTore. Having said that, wh why is she good enough? Um, I I'm not saying that she didn't run as well as Rogier did last time. I don't know that she really ran better than that one, and I just don't think these horses are really good enough. I've seen a lot of talk about Mora. It is not talk I agree with. They'll get my money, though, <laughs> if Mora wins the race. want to talk about the California Invaders going to Vegas and Family Way. And I think they're cool horses, and I don't want to just be dismissive of them. The problem is this is a pretty tough race, and they're behind the eight ball just against some faster horses. Nothing wrong with their efforts. Family Way has been a really neat performer for Brennan Walsh. She almost won her New York handicap against a very talented Bleecker Street earlier in the year, and she's a hard hitter who shows up. I just don't know if these horses are really good enough. I think it's a strong European contingency. 
I think he got a very good horse in an Italia as well. I put an Italia second. And I put her behind Tuesday, the horse I made a case for earlier. And I'm going to try to score a mild upset with Tuesday for Aiden O'Brien. I don't pick a lot of his horses. I hope I don't regret it here. I respect above the cor- the course, the curve, and Nashua a great deal. I think both of them are big-time players in the Breeders' Cup, Philly and Mare Turf. Head on over to NairaBets.com. If you're not a member, use the promo code CUP25, and we'll match up to $200 of your initial deposit as well as give you a free $25 play.